Hi, Dan Toombs, the curry guy here, and today I'm going to be making a Thai red chicken curry. This recipe is slightly different to the one that's on my, my uh, blog, and I will have a link to that as well at the bottom. But I just wanted to try this one out as well and see which one you like. Um, this one, I, I, I've made this, uh, this a couple times, it's super easy, very fast, I and mean, I can make this in about 10 minutes. And the secret behind its success is this, my homemade Thai red curry paste. And there's a link right there in case you decide you'd like to make it. Um, it's, it's easy to make, takes a little bit of time, about 20-25 minutes, but it's well worth it. So, to, to get started here, I'm going to go right down to the pan and uh, I'll show you how it's done. Alright, to get started I have put about two tablespoons of coconut oil in here. You can just use regular rapeseed oil if you prefer. And I'm going to add about a kilo of chicken. All I want to do here is brown it on the outside because it will finish cooking in the sauce. So while that is uh, browning on the outside, I'm just going to add all of my Thai red curry paste. It looks like a lot, but there, it's not all spice. It, it, there's lots of other things in there, like shallots and lemongrass garlic, ginger. And I just want that to fry off with the chicken. The chicken I'm using here, by the way, is uh, probably about 70% chicken breast, and I've also used some chicken thigh. You can use whatever you like. Alright, with that browned off, I'm going to go ahead and add about, well exactly, 400 milliliters, about a cup and a half, few cups, thick coconut milk. This is smelling so good right now. We're just going to let that simmer for a bit until that chicken is just about cooked through. Okay, with this cooking very nicely now, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of tamarind concentrate. If I had limes, I'd add some lime juice too, so it's, uh, I don't though, so I won't. Nice twist of lime is really nice in this at the end of the cooking. And now I'm gonna add the veggies. So about a handful of different vegetables. So I got some uh, bell pepper here, red bell pepper, got some uh, sweet peas, baby corn, about four spring onions. You could use whatever vegetables you like. So whatever you have on hand, if it sounds good, it probably will be. And you gotta put in some uh, bamboo shoots as well. And the only trick here is to make sure you don't overcook these vegetables. You don't want them to be mushy. Uh, just kind of mix them around in the sauce so they're nice and crisp when you serve it. Still just slightly cook through. I'm going to add just a drop of water, not too much. That's not part of the recipe, but it just looks like it needs a little bit more sauce. Now, there is no salt in this whatsoever. Um, I have not salted it. I have not put salt in the paste. No salt. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of fish sauce. 
give that a nice stir in there. And that should be just enough salt. I'll check it before I serve it. Just a tiny bit more fish sauce. And then, because I do know I have a couple of hotheads eaten here tonight, I'm going to throw in some chilies. Because I didn't make my, uh, I left the seeds out of my curry paste. I don't normally. There are a few people eating tonight that don't like it really spicy. And there are a few, few that do. A few nice hot chilies would be very welcome, I'm sure. To finish this off, I'm just going to add a nice sprinkling. Coriander. I'm just gonna try. Oh, that is spot on. That is it. It's done. Wow. I might simmer that for a couple more minutes. But it's done. And it's so easy. See how fast that was? That was all in real time. That was a curry done in less than 10 minutes. So there you have it, Thai red chicken curry, and it is so good. I'm just going to try some more here. So nice. But one, thing, one thing I didn't do on the video was add sugar. I don't, I'm not a really big fan of sweet curries, but um, people do add maybe a teaspoon, a tablespoon. Do that to taste. Cooking Thai food is all about tasting it along the way. And... Uh, if you find that you would rather have a sweeter flavor, go for it. Um, thank you very much for watching. and Please subscribe. Uh, I've got videos coming out every Wednesday and a few in between as well. And if you do subscribe, make sure to hit that little bell and uh, just be notified whenever I have new videos. Thanks a lot.